Welcome to day nine. So today, again, look at yesterday's notes. Today is probably one of the toughest days, really. And most engineers, new engineers to Cisco networking really struggle with access lists. We're going to be looking at standard, extended and named access lists. How to edit access lists. And there's rules for older versions of iOS and newer versions. I don't suppose you really need to know rules for the older versions. However, not all of you are going to be working with the latest iOS code. So it's kind of handy to know for the real world. Sequence numbers you need to read up on. This is kind of a, a fairly newer thing because of uh, the new re new release of Cisco iOS. Apply an access list. You've got different configuration commands if you're applying them to an interface as opposed to a line, such as a Telnet line. Use an access list to log and log in access lists. Wildcard masks. This is a good part as any really to look at wildcard masks. Um, and you'll be looking at those again in detail when you cover OSPF. And you need to be able to do all of the above hands-on as well as understanding the theory. So it's important you do lots and lots of access list labs for the exam. I'm right, just going to quickly review what you need to be reading in whichever book you're using. Access list basics, um, all the stuff I've mentioned really that you need to know. I've put down the syllabus points that are covered as well. While we have access lists, what they're for and what they do, understanding port numbers, very important when you configure an access list that you understand the port numbers. I've covered the rules. I haven't seen any guides that talk about the rules of configure of configure an access list. They kind of refer to obliquely, but a lot of the time you're not actually told all of the rules and uh, that apply when you're configuring them. So I've put them all down anyway, and hopefully you'll, whichever book you have covers them as well. Standard access lists, what you can and can't do with them. Extended access lists, and then uh, named access lists, which are more likely to be tested on. I'll talk about how to apply them to an interface in a line, how to remove them, resequencing re access lists, which is a new module that I've added onto my book from the old version. Troubleshooting and verifying access lists. Uh, obviously some questions that you need to answer, exam questions, and then you really need to do in a standard extended and named access list lots and lots of times. So that's all for today. That's definitely going to keep you busy for the next couple of hours and I'll see you tomorrow.